Well, the show went up with a great segment. It was the, whatever they were calling it, the Quiz Quish, Bowl. The Quiz Bowl. It was really, Orton, uh, this was really entertaining, yeah. It was Randy Orton and Riddle against Chad Gable and Otis. It was kind of like, uh, sort of like Jeopardy. They put the question up on the screen. You had to... You had to answer the question. If you got it wrong, the other team got a chance to answer the question. And if they got it right, they got the point. So Chad Gable's out there, and he's just been fantastic in all of these. And so there's nine categories, and since Gable and Otis won the scooter race, they get to go first. So Gable chooses U.S. presidents, and the question is, who was the first to be elected to office with a college degree? And he picks John Adams since he's also a man with a college degree. And so they get a point. So Riddle chooses biology. They ask how many hearts an octopus has. He had a buddy who dissected an octopus when they were kids. And so he knows the answer is three hearts. And so he's correct. So Gable chooses Greek mythology. He uh, knows that Icarus flew too close to the sun. So it's now 2 1. Horton chose cartoons. They get a question about the Ninja Turtles correct, so it's now 2-2. Two, two. And then we've got uh, Otis choosing geography. Question is, which is the biggest of the 48 continental states? He chooses uh, Texas, which is correct, and so he gets that's a an e- point. That's an, e- that's an easy one. Well, so then uh, R.K. Bro gets to go, and the question is about uh, the Baldwins. And he has absolutely no idea. Oh, the, the the one the one um, the father in law of um, Justin Bieber uh, may have been. Yeah. No, the Justin Bieber's wife. Yeah, the, the father in law. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, he has no idea about any of this, and the only Baldwin he knows is Alec Baldwin. So he guesses him, and he loses. And so uh, Gable gets it right. So it's now four two for the Alpha Academy. So then Gable says, films and movies, and it's a question about Shakespeare, and uh, he's going to answer the question. All of a sudden, one of the options is Hamlet, and Otis goes, Ham! And Gable goes, Otis, be quiet. I'm going to get this one right. And so he's he's ranting, and then uh, uh, Otis goes, Ham again! And he's, Otis, be quiet. So he, he, he guesses Romeo and Juliet, and he's wrong. And then Riddle guesses Hamlet, and he's right. And now Otis is furious. I said that, he says. So the people in the crowd did, too. So it's now 4-3, and uh, this is where I thought this segment was almost perfect, but it wasn't quite perfect. So it's sports, and the question is, which quarterback threw the most touchdowns in team history? Denver, so, Denver, uh, Denver Broncos history. Yes. Like, wasn't the most wins, quarterback with the most wins? Regardless. Orton says he starts pulling the crowd. And, uh, of course, the crowd picks uh, John Elway. And so now Otis and Gable are furious. You can't ask the crowd. That's not fair. The crowd was was screaming who it was. Yes. So then the next question is uh, metric. By the way, by the way, by the way, you know that, um, you know, I grew up um, like not, I won't say down the street, but sort of down the street from John Elway. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So the next question is metric conversions. And this is where I thought, I don't want to say they fucked up the segment, but like this was so easy and they didn't do it. So it's metric conversions. And the question is, how many grams are in an ounce? And it's Chad Gable's turn. He should have asked the crowd. And one of two things is going to happen. They're either going to lie and screw him, which would have been awesome, or if the fans happen to be telling the truth, then Chad Gable has to go, oh, I don't believe these these fans, and he has to pick something else, and then he's wrong. It would have been perfect because Riddle had had help from the fans, and I thought it would have been awesome if they would have gone to Gable, and he tried to get help from the fans, but then he got fucked because he tried to go to the fans. But anyway, he got it wrong, and uh, Orton uh, correctly guesses 28 grams because, uh, and Orton screwed up his line, by the way, because he told Riddle, he's supposed to say to Riddle, you're not the only one who cooks, because he makes, you know, weed cookies. But instead he said, I'm not the only one who cooks. So he actually screwed up the line, but the fans knew what he was trying to say, so they laughed. And uh, they won, and so they have won this uh, this series here. They're going to get a championship match, I presume, in Elimination Chamber. No, 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 Riddle's in Elimination Chamber. It's going to be in TV Oh, that's later. right. I guess it'll be whenever. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, they'll get a title shot at some point. Yeah, yeah, and it made perfect sense for them to then lose the main event. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.